Hello, everybody. It's Ryquiz again, coming at you with another Home Story Cup game from Group D. It's our first TVP of the channel. It's Spirit from Sidestorm Gaming versus Showtime from Team BIG, Berlin International Gaming, I believe. First of all, thank you all for subscribing and watching my videos. We've seen a nice uptick recently. Um, I feel honored and blessed. I hope to uh, improve <laughs> a lot more over the coming months and years. So this is a TVP, no Zerg involved. So I'll be a li bit, little bit less knowledgeable, but it will be entertaining nonetheless with these two great players. I'm interesting t to see a TVP of this caliber. Showtime and Spirit are both, together with Cyril, the three players that are really... Ooh, engineering block to start the game with. It's nice to see the Protosses have their natural blocked. <laughs> oh, the SCV actually goes down. One second. And now we actually have health bars. Great. So, Spirit and Showtime, together with Serol, are the three players vying for that those two top spots in Group D. So this match will tell us a lot about how that is going to go. We see Nexus from Showtime after Core. And a second gas. Of course, he would have liked to put it down earlier, but there was a damn engineering bay. The other side of the map, we see Spirit throwing down a reactor right after this. One marine. Actually, I haven't seen a reaper. There was indeed no reaper at all, so it's a little uncommon. I feel like there should be reapers looking at this reaper wall. But maybe this is a full reaper wall, I assume now. Which, of course, makes the Reaper a lot less attractive on this map specifically. So maybe we'll see it further on in the series. See a factory going down. No second gas just yet. And we see a bunker on their way. Spirit, of course, having not that much intel. Let's see how much he has. He has absolutely nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. There could be proxy gateways as far as he's concerned. So this bunker is very safe. Ooh, these marines moving out. He has this timed out very well. He knows. Oh my god, that is honestly sick. He probably played this build at least 10 to 20 times. Probably more like 120 on the ladder. And he just knows the good Protoss is shade out their adept as fast as possible to get that intel. And he knew it would shade around here, so he moved out his marines to get that juicy damage on that Adept. Starker now joining in. Blink on the way in the main base for Showtime. So we're going to see some Blink Stalkers. And for Spirit, it will be a Widow Mine. I was assuming a Widow Mine drop, but there's no Starport yet. One Marine's Dust Die. That makes two units killed from Spirit. Showtime's still playing... That elusive, perfect game. And boom. Throws down his third Nexus. He's not afraid of anything. Once Blink is done, gets a couple gateways. He feels like he can defend anything. Would not be surprised to see Hallucination go, go out. Or this energy be saved up for a Guardian Shield. That would definitely be more beneficial with this Marine Pack now moving out. We see a siege tank as well. Where did that widow mine go? There's two widow mines on the map, but oh, they're over there. They're hidden. But again, no starport, so there won't be a drop anytime soon. Spirit. We'll see this third base. There's also a robo on the way for showtime. In the natural. Base 
first building that Spirit has seen, and the Hallucination scouts everything for Showtime. So he knows that the starport is late, he sees double- oh, oh no. Oh no, Billy. Billy is stuck. <laughs> Oh, sweet Summer Prince. Ooh, and the, the push is now coming with one tank. A bunch of combat shoot marines. A little bit old school. Illusion, are you watching? The Terran player from Ana, by the way. And he is putting on some pressure on this third base. A couple more marines trickling in. These stalkers are looking for them. This Nexus is being shelled down, but there is probably battery overcharge as well. Nuclear batteries are pretty strong in this video game. But what a precarious position for our Terran player. He is sieging the third, sure. But also, his reinforcements can't come in anymore unless he can beat five Stalkers to do it. One Widowmine get pick gets picked off, second one gets picked off. For the price of no stalkers at all, because Blink is a good unit. Or ability in this case. Stalkers are bound to be sandwiched by this bio army, but that's the cue for Showtime to move in onto that siege tank. That siege tank goes down for free. And now this bio has to retreat. No stim yet, so he can't run away very efficiently. And that's a lot of Blink stalkers. Zella charge on the way as well. More gateways and a fourth base for Showtime. He's expanding on the map like a Zerg player. Just pure gateway units at this point. He does have a robo, but we've only seen two observers and that's it. Plus one attack underway for both sides. Nice blink forward from Showtime. Focuses the Marauders, but they get picked up in the Metavacs. Lots of marine losses though, Stim did just finish, so he can Stim, but the Bioforce seems rather small. He does have the high ground, but there's no mischance, because this ain't Dota. He targets the Metavacs, does get a marine for his troubles, but the Metavacs are still alive. There is not a lot of Bio for Spirit though, this is a lot of Stalker Zealot. Those Zealots do have charge, and the third base isn't even done yet. Can he defend it? It's placed on location and not done. He has to cancel it, throws down a new one in the main base right away. But for now, you are stuck on two bases. What am I drop underway? But Showtime is just pressing on in. He's like, nope, I don't think you have enough here. I can get a good trade. Give me those juicy SEVs. And the bio is doing what they can do to these stalkers. But 18 SEVs go down. 18 SEVs had to... Shield the bio army in order for spirit to even survive. Where did that drop go? This drop was spotted by these zealots. So they are now following this medevac. And spirit does try to get into the third base, drop these widow mines, but they are cleaned up before they. Oh, they get one probe. So now we have this, well, kind of a doom drop. It's three medevacs full of spirits. Entire army, honestly, a desperation move. Does get spotted by the zealots very ever so slightly, but Showtime didn't see it quite yet, but there's a recall. His whole army is now on top of spirits army, and the medevacs are targeted down. Only four probes go down, and the whole army of spirit dies for, well, not the best trade. And now, if we look at the supply, Showtime takes a fifth base. I'm loving this. This is Zerg. It's Zerg, but, you know, Protoss somehow. Another Widowmine drop gets a couple probes. But it's, it's just a distraction. The Spirit needs to get up this third base, and he needs to take a couple really good trades. He should be on top of this ramp. Like, he needs to be a mind reader and get a bunch of free unit kills, or at least a bunch of probe damage with these Widow Mine drops. But Showtime just has so many units. Widow Mine gets nothing done, and now Showtime is here once again. He's like, oh, nice third base you have over there. Would be a shame if something were to happen to that one. Ooh. 
But he is slightly afraid for this plus one bio army. They do shred gateway units if they are not in great a number. But Showtime is once again pressing his advantage. Just trading units basically because he just has so much more income. As you can see. Like these stalkers are running away and once Blink is up they can run away. This bio is super low. <laughs> and then there's just another Zealot Warp in. Running into your natural, killing your reinforcements. What do you do? How do you split your army? Showtime is making it really difficult for Spirit and he's taking pretty nice trades, but Showtime can do this for days. He doesn't mind trading slightly inefficiently. As long as it's efficient enough and keeps spirit army count low. Because that's where the bio trades pretty darn well. Or the gateway units trade pretty darn well with the bio. Warprism is going into the main. Spirit has nothing going on anymore. And now this Warprism in the main is going to be the bane of his existence. And even the third base falls. What does he need to do? Giant Zealot Warpin in the main. So his buildings will start falling and his production is camped. There are some bio units trickling out being supported by those medevacs. But he's on the hunt. He needs to get damage done. Spirit, you're on the clock. But Showtime knows this. He's just retreating. Warpin and more Zealots is just minerals. He has five darn bases and there's disruptors. The GG balls will come out. And this Biharm gets shredded and Spirit has to tap out for this game number one goes to Showtime. And we go right into game number two. Showtime versus Spirit. Showtime took the first map on Neo Humanity pretty convincingly. Spirit pulled out a pretty cool build with a nice pressure on the third base of Showtime. And he looked very familiar with the build, especially almost like getting that early adept. That would have been really cool and maybe thrown Showtime off. Because then he would have gotten a lot less scouting done and then he would have maybe overreacted, etc, etc. But then the third base pressure, Showtime was pretty ready for that. He delayed, he delayed, even though he didn't see the push coming from that far, the Hallucination Scout did give him enough information so that he could defend his third base, and by delaying enough with his shield battery plus stalkers with Blink, he could then eventually get an Observer in, cut off the reinforcements, and then eventually overwhelm the entrenched position, which was being anchored by that one siege tank plus two widow mines and <laughs> we see again this game an engineering block i am a fan don't give these protoss players their naturals for free and actually wow showtime is taking his natural as third position i thought only zergs were brave enough to do that but wow protosses also do this crazy oh this probe is not having fun Get out of here. <laughs> and the natural does start. Showtime does see that. And this game we do have a Reaper. One gas. So pretty normal builds. Except for the fact that your Nexus is slightly misplaced, Mr. Protoss player. See the reactor again. Now this Reaper coming in to uh, confirm that the base is still there. And now hops on into the main base. No Reaper wall. And he does see... Well, slight Reaper wall at the back. He does see the Adept coming out and he goes away. Let's see if he actually... He did see the Twilight Console. And this Reaper's now running around and wreaking havoc for this Protoss. It's really hard to protect both of these bases, but the Stalker's here to shoo this Reaper away. Damn, this Reaper's being so annoying. 
He's checking if there is an upgrade going. Showtime purposefully not starting an upgrade. He actually chrono boosted it. And then starts blink. Now it would be super sick if he cancelled it and then DT Shrine Robo. But no, he goes blink. He wanted to delay it, but he's like, nah, it's not worth it. We see a pretty similar build to last game when it comes to the... Well, no, I'm totally bullshitting, actually. There's no second racks. <laughs> the starport's way earlier. The only thing that's sim uh, similar is the two widow mines and the barracks or the bunker. <laughs> this, however, is not similar at all. This weird natural at the third base. There is no third base at the natural just yet. But looking at this Showtime build, which seems very similar to last game, it will be put down now. And then soon after, we will see a Robo. And on Spirit side, we see two extra barracks being added on. Two Widow Mines were built, and now we're going to see a Tech Lab. So we're going to see that Widow Mine drop. This Marine is looking around, and he's going to try and check if there's indeed a third base. And yes, there is a Robo, but it's not at the Nat. It's not at the third. It is in the main. Marine will get the scout on this third base. So Spirit probably knows what he's up against. And the factory was swapped off and the tech lab was given to the barracks. Usually you see that the other way around, but still. Now we have Stim underway instead of combat shields. And we have a Marauder and also a Raven. Very nice. Observers ain't got shit. Now we do see this drop moving in. See if it can get some damage done trying to stay out of vision, but showtime! He knows something is probably up. He knows Spirit all too well. I can only imagine that these players play quite a bit on the ladder. And he just waits. He just waits for Showtime to think, well, I see everything. I saw no Widow Mine drop. Let me pull my Stalkers away. Probably something else is happening. Stalkers are at the front now. Just kind of containing to, uh, Spirit in a way. We see no third command center, actually. That is quite surprising to me. So the lag's on the way again. I'm kind of expecting a very quick fourth base once again at a showtime. But now there is a Widow Mine drop in your main base. Only one Widow Mine is dropped. Oh baby. Boom. Eight probes. Now the second one is dropped. He actually dropped this one a little too early to get the max damage. But that's cool. Raven on the way for some extra harassment. Nine probes. Bite to dust. And there's a big bio ball, because there's no third base. He's just been pumping units. Auto turret gets plonked down. One kill, two kill, and a pro pool. So that's a bunch of lost mining time. Actually, ooh, almost gets another kill. Raven is in peril, but won't die. This bio force moved out and stimmed, actually, to try and catch these stalkers. But the medevacs weren't quite there yet. Now the medevacs are there to heal. And another Widow Mine drop. Ooh, he picks it up. He gets another couple probes for his troubles. 12 probes in total died this game. There is no fourth base. Another auto turret. Spirit, you're being so annoying. But the Mauer holds strong. And even though you have a Raven, this Observer. Ooh, nice catch by Showtime. Kind of tipping off that he has vision there. But ooh, the concussive shell's doing a number on, on these stalkers. He actually can't get out. Another stalker bites the dust. And now they're just <laughs> a ring around the rosy trying to get a few more reinforcements perhaps. But also just leading this army away from his base. He doesn't want... Ooh, fourth base underway. He doesn't want that army, this giant ass army to move into his territory. Because I don't know if he can defend. He's setting up for big gateway man. Another two probes die. But there is not a lot of big gateway happening right now. We do have Sentry Stalker. Guardian Shield is pretty good. Plus two armor, baby. 
Ooh, nice blink. Doesn't take damage from that Widow Mine. Barely takes any damage from that Widow Mine. Force fields are pretty nice. And the nuclear battery is doing work, but this is a lot of bio. Sentries are dead. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. He loses a lot of stalkers there. He is recalling a couple stalkers that were in the front. And now he is barely holding on. Showtime, can you do this? The reinforcements are arriving. You have no more nuclear battery, but you do have Blink Stalker Micro. These bio units are awfully low. Probes are not being called into the fight. No conscription is happening here. Never mind, the probes do join the fight. But the Widow Mines will blow those up right away if he allows them to get into range. But no. Whew. Showtime. Showtime. He's holding on. The probes are still mining. The fourth base is not being occupied just yet. I think if he had his, this fourth base occupied, then maybe Big Gateway Man could actually hold on. There was no immortal being made in the process, so he doesn't want that as kind of an anchor. And now a third base has been established for Spirit. But Showtime only has a 32 army supply. That's not a lot for Big Gateway Man. And now the fourth base is being pressured. These sh sh Force fields manipulating the map layout, allowing Showtime's army units to trade favorably or at least have a better arc. But he uses nuclear battery again. So now that's on cooldown. And Spirit has 1-1 one, one upgrades. Showtime actually has no upgrades to speak of. And these stalkers are being targeted down by the marauders. And those shells did land one by one. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. He's probably A-moving in right now. Oh, Widow Mine whiffed, but his, his army is on top of Showtime's army. The shield battery has been drained. And all he has left is a couple stalkers. And oh, some zealots do reinforce more stalkers for the reinforcements. And actually now, Spirit's army is looking pretty small. But the reinforcements are big. Showtime, 70 workers. He's hanging on by a thread. No upgrades, however. His forge is just coming down. He is in full panic mode. Zealots are running away, trying to get rid of... Oh, he probably got an alert. Like, your units are under attack. So he sent them to the natural, or... Yeah, his natural at the third base location, trying to deal with it. Thinking it was probably a couple bio units, but it was actually... That darn widow mine that's still chilling here and only having two kills because he keeps shooting the goddamn gas geyser. Up, oh, up! Oh! Five kills. That could have been way worse, but now Showtime for sure knows. But <laughs> Spirit really taxing him. But Showtime does find the time to send this nice Zealot counterattack. That's really nice. These moves can get you back to the games because Zealots are pretty good at fighting SEVs. Spirit, however, he has had enough. He jumps in to the fourth base of Showtime, stims on in, has a bunch of medevacs. He has 1-1 one, one, and a shit ton of marauders. And he forces Showtime to tap out in this game too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game number three in this best of three. Fighting it out for the top two spots in Group D. And we're here in our third game between Showtime and Spirit. Spirit. Showtime took the first game pretty convincingly, employing a Zerg-like big gateway style that I honestly love seeing to honestly just take over the map with Nexi and gateway units. And Spirit had a cheeky build but couldn't quite pressure the third hard enough and didn't get the damage done that he needed. And then in game two, Spirit actually changed up his build and caught Showtime kind of doing the same thing. He blocked the natural once again. And Showtime just took his third base as a natural. And actually, I was surprised that Spirit wasn't able to really abuse that. But then he did abuse the map really well. And he skirted around the edges of the map, avoiding vision with his Widow Mind drop. And then he lay in wait. He waited for the right time for Showtime 
to be like, okay, a normal Widow Mind Drop hits right now. It's not here? Okay. A shitty Widow Mind Drop from the players on the ladder would hit right now. And it still didn't come. And he's like, okay, it can't be a Widow Mind Drop anymore because it didn't come. And then Spirit got him. With the Widow Mines in his main and his natural, which was located at the third base, managed to kill nine probes. And then the Raven got into his third base, placed in the natural, got another couple probe kills, and one of those Widow Mines from the initial nine probes survived in a medevac, and Showtime was just playing whack a mole with all those darn Terran units for the foreseeable future and it was really difficult for showtime to get his act together spirit was really taxing showtime in that second game and then deservedly got the win and now we are in a third game where spirit has again elected to not build a reaper but he's going back to this marine style with a quicker factory i um, interested to see if he is going to throw down another barracks again or that he's going to focus on actually confusing Showtime. Because if he does the same thing again and catches that Adept with three Marines again, this is so cool. Showtime might think that the same type of push is coming again. But now it's actually a Widowmine drop. So this could be very successful. But on the other side, Showtime is also switching it up. He's like, okay, first game, I got you. But second game, you play pretty well. I'm going to throw in a Stargate build. Let's see if it's an Oracle, Phoenix. I presume, yes, Oracle. Because Phoenix are usually built out of two Stargates, or at least in ZVP they are. And in the main base, Spirit is hiding a Tech Lab... Starport. We have one Widow Mine somewhere. Oh, it's hidden here quite sneakily. Maybe waiting to catch a certain air unit that will be flying towards this base. Hmm. Another bunker is established. Spirit plays it safe. Or plays it greedy, however you want to look at it. And now we have another fact factory or well another tech lab being built by this factory and revelation is thrown down he doesn't even try to get any SEVs. he just wants the scouting now he knows there's a starport there's cloak or at least it's being built and another, another barracks on the way so that is three barracks no units being produced out of this starport factory just yet and now we see third base for Showtime going down. And a Phoenix is being built after a second Oracle was added on. This Adept is still lying in wait. We have one Banshee and now a Viking actually. Cloak was cancelled last minute. He's like, nah, I want my money back. Just before the warranty expired. We see a Robo. In the natural being built and a twilight console in the main wouldn't surprise me if he starts building a blink stalkers again and these two oracles are being used very passively just making sure he has map control no third base is being built and indeed this tech lab was again used for the bio so we have double bio upgrades underway and plus one looking like a heck of a timing coming up for spirit Let's see if Showtime notices this and can hold on. And we actually have a reactor factory. So maybe we'll see a bunch of Widow Mines being added in. Is this uh, is a build that the, you do for Zerg now? Ooh, it cancels the Widow Mines. He needs some money for something. Stasis traps are planted everywhere. Remember when these things had no cooldown? That was cool. I kind of feel like we're going to see a rally push from Spirit and just break the neck of Showtime or die trying. The other side, we see Showtime. He has zettled legs underway. And an immortal. Whoa, not big gateway, man. We, <laughs> we see a starport or start gate and a robo. 
So actually making text structures this game and using them. Yeah. And your whole army is on ice. That will delay that push just nicely. So Showtime knows that this is underway. The timing was going to hit pretty nicely with combat shields, stim and plus one. We see two Phoenix are actually looking for Banshee moves like this one. And the Banshee spots the pylon, but that means the Phoenix spot the Banshee. And of course, there is no cloak. Jesus, Phoenix do a lot of damage. And now they can actually retreat. This was a value pylon if I've ever seen one. You might want to do that on the ladder, boys. Revelation wears off and the Widow Mines are being sprinted into the main base right away. He f actually spots these buildings and he's like, ah, uh, hmm, he might just know. Immortal, no! Oh no, the rally path of this observer was probably still set. And the Immortal did follow that path. Poor Showtime loses an Immortal for free, only has one Immortal left. You hate to see it. Damn, Spirit is being so annoying. Just kind of camping this middle area. Showtime doesn't really know. He only has one or two observers. Only one observer that is in the front. And all he sees is units leaving the main base. So Showtime can only do one thing. And that is match that army and keep tagging it. And be like, what are you up to? What are you going to do? Is this one of mine still there? Nope, it finally left. And there's no turret. And the Punish is here. There is a Ghost Academy, but we do see some SEVs dying, and the whole army is moving back to the base of spirit for these oracles. Probably an F2, you know? It happens to the best of us. These oracles get out. Very nice maneuver by Showtime. Actually, a very large number of Phoenix. This is Colossi Charge Lot Phoenix. It's been a while since I've seen that, and some nice a nice sentry count to have Guardian Shield up as well. Ooh, this drop is kind of a hill mary with this Phoenix. Oh, they barely miss four Widow Mines. There probably is an armory, so that will make this even more annoying. Two Widow Mines burrow, four Widow Mines burrow, fifteen probes, bam! Grind it into the dirt. Ooh, no armory. So these Widowmines will get... Ooh, one Oracle dies to a Widowmine. And it's now Showtime that's just kind of chilling in the middle of the map. Be like, yo, it's my map, baby. A lot of Phoenix here. Phoenix can be very annoying when camping your production. If a Metavex comes out... It dies. If a ghost comes out, it dies. Oh, ho, 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 no! Showtime! Flies over the army of spirit. And he takes damage by losing all of his phoenix. Seven phoenix bite to dust. And his army movement is a little awkward because of this. These rocks. Dustin Browder, goddamn you. And Colossus also bites to dust. So we now have one Colossus, one Immortal, and seven Phoenix that were kind of donated this game. Feels bad, man. Spirit is really taxing Showtime. And the cracks are showing. Spirit nicely forcing Showtime into making these mistakes. And now there's a Doom Drop. Showtime is forced into a difficult position. Do I remake these Phoenix or do I just make good units? Such as these Disruptor Balls. And now there's a Doom Drop in the main. And the army is infiltrating the front of his base as well. What do you do? His main base falls. Zealots and Colossi are here to answer that drop. But they don't shoot up somehow. Their heads are too heavy so they can only look downwards. Nerd Neck will do that to you. And the big-ass spirit army is still in the middle of the map. He's slightly be behind our workers. But he does have a fourth base established now. Six SCVs did die to his SCV run... Or a zealot run by. 
And he now needs to defend with these... Disruptor balls and force fields. Just trying to hold on. Ooh, this Marauder does get left alone. Poor Space Marine. Ooh, the double upgrades. Oh no, if these go down, what... What do you have to show for yourself? Showtime. Oh, and the Colossus walking to the Vikings. Nice positioning by Spirit. Knowing that Showtime has to save those gorgeous. And he taps out. GG Spirit. With some masterful moves and honestly just supreme positioning. His army was in the right place to catch the stray units of Showtime. First, he got a little lucky with that Immortal, but then he was in the great position to catch those Phoenix. And then again, he was in the right position to catch those Colossus. And then again, to catch those Colossus with the Vikings. And that gave him the dub. So Spirit taking it over Showtime, giving him a really good chance of now getting out of Group D. Guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.